Welcome to Greetings All. We're um, going to be working on the WAD called Model, Model Design 2 Library. And um, we're going to read a textual description of a domain model and the ways the data needs to be manipulated and then generate an ER diagram representing this model. Okay, so ready, start your timer. I guess I'm ready. So I'll start the timer. And it says, at the Hamilton Library, students and faculty take out books on loan. A student or faculty member can take out up to five books at a time. Several copies of the same book can exist. Borrowers can make reservations when all the copies of book are out on loan. Items needed to be stored include the borrower of a book's name, the date, the ISBN, um, the name of the person making the reservation, the date reserved, and we need to be able to check to see whether a book being returned has been reserved, check who's got the particular book out on loan, check which books are out on loan, so forth. We need to do the fields associated with each type. Okay, so we got a lot of information here. Um, let's just start off by setting up our, our cells. And, um, you know, what we want to do is basically, so we're going to call this ERD library, okay, um, and then we're going to get, you know, we want to make sure that we've enabled our entity relationship stuff, this is save, okay, so now we got that, so that's good, um, and so the way I like to do this is I like to start off making the entities, and then I like to make the relationships and then finish with the fields. Um, and so when I'm reading this, I they say students and faculty take out books on loan. So do we need a student entity and a faculty um, entity? I don't think so. I don't see any place where they're asking, you know, faculty, we need to do some special query on faculty. So um, with these descriptions, oftentimes you want to, you don't want to add in unnecessary detail, okay? Um, and in this case, it looks like students and faculty, that's that's a detail that we really don't care about. So I'm going to start by saying, let's just have a, a library patron. Okay, so that's an entity for somebody who's who's um, borrowing books, and maybe we'll have a field in there saying, you know, students versus faculty, or we could add that in later. One of the things that's nice about modern uh, databases is that you have this concept of um, evolution. So you can evolve the structure of the database over time. Um, obviously, you want to get as close as possible um, initially, but you know we don't have to be 100% perfect um, and, um, when when we do the initial relationship. So we've got we've got the students and faculty. So we're going to call them patrons, and we've got books. We, well, we certainly need a book. I mean, that's clear, right? So we have a book entity. Can't believe we want to have one of those. And then it says several copies of the same book could exist for those in high demand. All right, so, so book is going to be kind of a generic concept of a book. And then a specific instance of a book is going to be a copy. So basically, we'll always have at least one copy of a book, but we could have multiple copies. Okay, and then we, so we have a patron. And we also want to have reserve. They talk about reservation, so we're going to have a reservation. Okay, so that's going to be you know you want to you want to get a particular book, and then we actually want to have um, you know when you take out a book, you want to borrow it. So we need we need the concept of a book that's actually not been reserved, but actually is is borrowed by someone. So we'll call that a loan. Okay, when, when we're, you know, giving a book to somebody. Okay, and so that looks, I think, pretty much like the set of entities. You know, it doesn't make sense to have an entity for the title or author. Those are really probably fields. So let's look at some of the relationships between these, these objects. Um, so we can have a patron. I'm looking. I'm feeling kind of like let's let's start off with book and copy. So we know that a um, a book uh, that a, that a, that a book could be associated with at least one and maybe more than one copy. Whoops, sorry about that. 
So if I click on this entity field, I'm going to change that into at least one. It could be more than one. And a copy is associated with one and only one book, so we'll change that into to one and only to one and only one. Okay. And then a reservation is going to be made for a particular book. Okay, so a reservation instance is associated with a single book. It's not associated with a single copy. You don't generally say, I want to reserve copy number three of a book. You say, I want, I want this book. I don't really care which copy it's going to be. But the reservation is going to be associated with a specific book. So um, again, a reservation is one and only one. A book could have zero or more reservations associated with it. Okay? Now when you loan out a book, you're definitely loaning out the specific copy. So a, a loan uh, so a loan instance is associated with one and only one copy. Okay, but a copy Okay, so this is an interesting one. If, if we're going to say, um, if we're going to keep a historical record of all the loans that this, cop that this copy of the book has ever been made, which I think we do, then a copy could have zero, zero or too many loans associated with it, right? The book may have never been loaned out, um, or it um, you know, could have been loaned out many Okay, and then to finish this up, right, so then patrons basically have, can either have reservations or loans. And then through that they get to either books or the particular copies. So we'll say a patron, um, an instance of a patron can have zero to many reservations associated with it. So this will be a zero to many. But a reservation... It's always going to be associated with exactly one patron. So we'll say one and only one patron. And then we'll make another one over here. And it's really the exact same situation with a, with a loan, right? Um, I think we can only take out five books at a time, but we can't really express that um, in our... Um, you know, in our ER diagram, those kind of constraints. That's going to be something that the actual application is going to have to check for. We could put, you know, like one thing you could do if you wanted to, you could put one of these little note things and say, uh, only five loans at a time. You could, you know, put that right there. We wanted to make it clear that um, that there was that kind of cardinality constraint you could add to the diagram if you wanted. Okay, so we wanted to see, let's just check to see that we can handle all the operations. Check whether a book being returned has been reserved. So we have a copy that's being returned. And from that, we can find out what the book instance is. And then from the book instance, we can ask, what kind of reservations exist for it. So we should be able to get that. Check whether a borrower has a particular book on a loan. So a patron has a link to all of the particular loans that they have. And then from the loans, we can get to um, the copies associated with it. And from the copies, we can get to the book. So we can figure that out. Check whether a copy of a particular title is loaned out or not. Um, so, uh, copy of a particular, okay, so we could, we get, we, you know, can search for the book that we're interested in, and then from that we can get all the different copies, and then we can check uh, to see what loans exist on that, um, and that should be okay. And then check which reservation should receive the newly, okay, so we need, we actually haven't dealt with the fields yet, so let's fix that, so that uh, we, for this one we want the title, We've done this before. Title, author, and ISBN. That's what the book needs to have. And then a patron has a name. And I don't know. I mean, I guess, you know, this is optional because we don't really know. But, you know, student. 
uh, I guess, you know, let's call it academic status. You know, that could be students or faculty, if, if, if this were here. And then we don't really need that third field, so we'll just get rid of it. A loan has a uh, date, this date out, a date in, and um, that looks like all we need for that. So let's uh, reduce the number of fields like that. And then a copy. What do we need for a copy? I don't think we need really anything for a copy. So let's just reduce the fields to one. And not, it doesn't really say here what we want to know specifically about particular copies, other than whether or not they're out on loan. And we get that through the relationship. Oh, and then for a reservation, we want the uh, date made, uh, and then we know the patron, we know the book, and I don't think we need anything else, so let's just reduce that to one. Okay, and so now from this we can figure out when a book comes in, we can find any or all reservations associated with it, and we can sort according to the date, and then we can figure out which patron it is that should get them. Okay, so that looks like a um, pretty reasonable ER diagram. And we're supposed to download a PNG file when we're done just to show that we can do this. We say download as, PNG, prompt content, print quality, download, and there we go. So um, we can double click this and we can see. There's our nice little, oh, it had, I think it had the transparent background, that one, um, which, you know, might be nice, okay? But anyway, we've got, we've got something there. We've got the, you know, the, the cross foot notations that we like, um, and, uh, you know, looks, looks reasonable. Okay, so we'll call this 12 minutes for Rx, and uh, hope you enjoyed that.